I'm Roger Ballin. I live in uh, Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. I'm a photographer, an artist, and also a geologist. My pictures are fundamentally psychological in nature. I don't see myself as a documentary photographer, a political photographer, a social photographer. I purely see myself as, you know, a photographer who's interested in exploring uh, the human condition, the human psyche, my own psyche. And uh, this has been a, a really uh, something that's been there since the very beginning. I would really say that the People who are most unsettled by the pictures, perhaps are the people who have the most to gain by my pictures. So in a way, the, the more they struggle with the pictures, the more the pictures have gotten inside them. And, it, and I think I've always uh, said that people, uh, uh, the pictures are the medicine those people really need. Always, the, only, the only purpose of what I do, uh, whether it's using drawings, whether it's using people, whether it's using animals, or working with these things or props is to create a unified, powerful, intense photograph. That's the only purpose. Each thing it ha has a uh, not only a unique purpose, but a overall purpose in integrating the photograph. So it's just a way of creating meaning within it in a, in a larger image. My latest series of work is called Asylum of the Birds. It's a project that I've been working on for nearly six years in Johannesburg, and the book will be published by Thames and Hudson early in 2014. So the theme of the book is, is the relationship of the birds, the place, the drawings, um, the objects, and in, in their entire relationship uh, to my photography. The theme is this interaction between these birds and this so-called Roger Ballin space. And when they come into action or they come into some sort of relationship, meanings are created. The meanings aren't single dimensional. The meanings are multi-dimensional and the meanings are visual in, in nature. So it really is very difficult to pinpoint what the meaning in, is in words. I'm so, uh, so pleased that the Johannesburg Art Fair this year is specializing in photography. Uh, it's been a real long, hard battle in South Africa for the public to appreciate the media of photography. So the exhibition that I'm going to be showing at the Johannesburg Art Fair um, covers a period of over 30 years. There will be uh, many uh, photographs at the Johannesburg Art Fair that have never been seen uh, by anybody except myself. And so I think this is a, quite an exciting thing for many people interested in photography. I think uh, it's very, always very hard to know exactly what makes something great, what makes it powerful. I think it, if one thinks about that, it's something that really uh, transforms consciousness, it transforms the viewer. I don't work with uh, inspiration, I really work with a discipline, commitment, passion. I really uh, feel that this art fair will make a significant contribution to getting people uh, to better understand how uh, photography can be a legitimate, expanding, um, important art form in, in South Africa and, and in general.